Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to use IVREG2 command for your panel data. If you are having a simultaneous equation and you want the result using the two stage least square, then IVREG2 command is the latest command which is used in Stata and it is having very good features inside it. So first of all, let me tell you what is IVREG2. Actually, IVREG2 is present in the advanced version in uh, the Stata 11. And uh, if you want to install install it, it in your 8th, 9th or 10th version also, then first of all, what you have to do is you have to go to Stata and you have to write here S. SC install IVREG2. You must have an uh, internet connection at you, and uh, now it will install IVREG2 in your present Stata version. It will take some time, <coughs> and after that, it will get installed. IVREG2 actually is an alternative to IV regress command and IV REG command. IVG, IV REG and IV regress commands, they for if you are, if you use those commands, in those commands, after using those commands, you have to do some post estimation. But very easy feature present inside this very beautiful feature present inside this IV REG to command is that it automatically gives you the various post estimation results okay now uh, this uh, after this SSE install IVREG2 command uh, um, actually it is already installed in my uh, stata so it has it is it is uh, it, uh, here and it has written that checking IVREG2 consistency and verifying not already installed all files already exist but if it is not exist in your system then it will get installed now after this uh, what you can do is uh, you install one more command that is iv you, same in the same way you install ssc install iv h-e-t-t-e-s-t -E -E you have to install this command also i will tell you uh, what is the use of this command after some time and uh, this command is also in already installed in my computer so uh, it is saying here that uh, files are already existing so now i will tell you uh, about my data actually stata can be used if for time th sorry that this ivreg2 can be used for um, uh, whether it is time series data or it is a panel data in both the cases you can use ivreg2 command and if you are having having the having such uh, regression in which uh, you are using uh, your instrument variables then this command is used now so i i'll show you my data here we have the industries here we have the years it is a panel data from year 2011 to 2017 and there are the companies and i am having the variables various variables and uh, i am using here demand and supply equations and uh, these are the simultaneous equations so in simultaneous equations uh, we have endogenous variables and uh, the endogenous variables they affect the error terms of the both the equations in the simultaneous equations so in simultaneous equations to estimate these i will use iv reg2 command and <coughs> IVREG2 command will automatically gives the result for various post estimations. Uh, for example, it will give you the results for uh, exogeneity and endogeneity of the data. It will give you the results for whether the data is uh, or autocorrelation is there or uh, whether there is heteroscedasticity. It also gives you the results of uh, uh, for uh, the over identifications and under the identifications of the instrumental variables 
and so on so now hi how we will use this command i will after installing it uh, what i will write here uh, i have already i have already written it here to save time i have written here here i have written iv reg to quantity this is my endogenous variable which is my dependent variable this is my dependent variable which is also endogenous and uh, this is my dependent variable and the in the first equation in the demand demand equations i am having all these exogenous variables from here to here these are my exogenous variables and my endogenous va variables my endogenous variable is ap net account payable and in my supply equation the exogenous variables are these these are the these are my exogenous variables in the from here to here these are my exogenous variables for the demand equation and for supply equation the exogenous variables are these now here this is my this is my endogenous variable and for this endogenous variable these are treated as the these and these are treated as my instrument variables so now here if i press enter then it will give me the results it is a two stage least square estimation and uh, it is a two stage least square estimation and uh, now here in this you can see the result and it is also showing some other post estimations results for example it is showing the under identification test it is showing the weak identification test then it is showing the sargent statistic which is for over identification to, to check for over identification of the instruments and it is also showing me the collinearity test okay so now you have got these results and now what what these results mean now here you can see that the first test it is showing is for under identification test now what is under identification if your instrumental variables are less uh, as compared to your endogenous variable then then that is the condition of under identification okay now if you are having under identification if you are if there is the problem of under identification in that case your p value will will not be significant if it is significant it means that there is no problem of under identification because here the null hypothesis is that there is under identification there is the problem of under identification okay so if you are your your p value is significant it means that you can reject the null hypothesis and there is no under identification problem present inside this system now second test says that whether there are weak identification or not now weak identification test is the test which is used to check whether the instruments which are being used here in the system in place of this endogenous variable are these instrument variables actually defining this endogenous variable properly or not do they do these exogen do these instrumental variables have the ability to fully define or to replace this as endogenous variable or not so actually it checks for the explanatory power of the instrumental variables okay for the endogenous variable so now how does it test for these 
weak identification here it uses the stock yogo weak ident identification test critical values and it is showing the f statistics for that crack donald which is called as cd world f statistic crack donald world f statistic is used and here f statistics value is given here and stock yogo weak id test critical values are also given here now what does it mean if any of these critical values you have to come what you have to do is you have to compare these critical values with this f statistic if your any of these values is greater than these values this value of f statistic it means that your instruments your instruments are weak instruments and they don't have the explanatory power for the endogenous variable okay but here you can see that none of these values is greater than 53.232 it means that our instruments which i have used here these instruments are not weak and they have good explanatory power for the endogenous variable now the third test is the sargent statistic okay and this sargent statistic test is for to, to check the over identification test now what is over identification test over identification test says that whether it is it is a test to check whether the instruments which are present there these instruments are th these instruments should not be correlated with the any of the error, error terms in the system if any of these instruments if any of these instruments are correlated with the error term of the system then these instruments are not treated as the good instruments so for over identification test now over identification is the situation when your instrument variables instrumental variables are more than your endogenous variable so now here you may find the problem that those instrumental variables are correlated with the error terms present in the system so it should not happen so to check uh, that whether these are correlated whether these instrumental variables are correlated with the error terms we have to we have to use this uh, sargent statistic and uh, for this sargent, sargent statistic it uses the chi square value and uh, if and the null hypothesis is that the instruments are valid instruments okay so now here you can see that uh, uh, the null hypothesis cannot be rejected here and it means that the null hypothesis Uh, cannot be rejected and it shows that the instruments are valid instruments and they are not correlated with the error terms okay now this ivrg2 test also shows your included instruments and your excluded instruments also and it also shows you the collinearity also if there is any collinearity it automatically automatically drops that collinearity and writes here dropped collinear here in dummy 4 this variable was collinear and it was already dropped by the ivrg moreover you can check for endogeneity also if you want to check for endogeneity then what you have to do is you have to do the same thing but in addition to that one more thing you have to write here after writing the whole command with uh, with all its dependent variable and uh, all the exogenous variables then endogenous variables and their instruments you have to write with a comma you have to write endog and in bracket you write the name of the endogenous variable which you want to check for endogeneity and now it will give you the result for endogeneity test 
here endogeneity test of endogeneity regression here it is 0, 0.000 and the null hypothesis was that the in the endogenous vari the variable is exogenous and it can be treated as exogenous but null hypothesis is rejected here and it shows that the variable is endogenous and cannot be treated as exogenous variable in the same way you can also check for heteroscedasticity whether heteroscedasticity is present inside it or not for that i had told you to install one command that is iv H E T T E S T, which you had already installed in your system in the beginning. Now we will use that command I V H E T T E S T to check for heteroscedasticity. So if you if we want to check for heteroscedasticity, then first of all we have that heteros I V H E T T E S T command <coughs> can only be used after the estimation after R E G two estimation. IV REG2 estimation or IV REG estimation. But here, actually, this is not the 11th version of STATA. So, I am I find some difficulty after using using it after IV REG2. But I can use in the previous versions from 8th version to 10th version. I can use this. I can use this IV HTTEST command after using the IV REG command so this I will do the same thing but I will not use here IV REG uh, 2 I will only use IV REG here and I will just wait here I will leave this because this can be done only in IV REG2. So now here you can see this is IV REG command, and now if I want to test for heteroscedasticity, then I can use this command IV HETTEST. Now here you will write here. I V H E T T E S T and you enter here just after this estimation and now what you will get you will get the result here for I V heteroscedasticity test okay using I V only now here the null hypothesis is that disturbance is disturbance is homoscedastic and it is using Pagan Hall general stat test statistic and here p value is significant which means that null hypothesis is rejected and the disturbance is heteroscedastic now it is a test for heterogeneity and you can see here that all the post estimation tests some of the tests are done by the iv reg2 command by itself and for one or two tests which are very important tests we have used some very easy commands and we have got the results i hope you like my video and please share it and like my video if you like it have a nice day thank you